Alright guys, we are back now with our second set of the evening. That's going to be between NVIDIA Gaming, excuse me, NVIDIA Aces Gaming Bravo as well as Steel Knight. Mm -hmm. And uh, Steel Knight is of course our Taiwanese Titans. And yeah. they're going to be facing off against the Vietnamese veterans for the evening. Yeah, mm -hmm. they are rookie, I think. So, <laughs> I, yeah. Because they practiced to horsemen yesterday, mm -hmm. but you know... <laughs> let's give them. I mean, let's let's. <laughs> it wasn't too good, was because it? Because they are rookie, so I I I expect the forever gonna win this one quite easy. I think. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, let, let's give these guys the benefit of the doubt. I mean, after all, we saw like, Gash plus Night Eagles mm -hmm. win versus uh, versus Charlotte Tiger yeah. in the final oh, yeah. in their final game in in the silver or excuse me the gold series. Mm -hmm. So I mean, anything can happen at this point. It is a best of three. Mm -hmm. So that means if they've got any clever strategies, mm -hmm. any clever strategies that they would like to use, then this would probably be the best place to use them. Yeah, but uh, it's the first time they're on stream, so uh, most they might team, be nervous. Yeah, most team <laughs> no, first time is really you know not that good. You know, com uh, at the same you know, Charlotte Tiger, they, they do not doing really nice on last season, right? So on this one, they got more experience and doing really nice. Right? They weren't now. doing really nice on last season. You mean the QIC or not QIC? Uh, the Charlotte Tiger one. is. Uh, Co in Pretrim. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. The Pretrim. first season of the WGL, they yeah, were doing They're not yeah. doing that really nice before, but, you know, after a couple of practice, they're doing quite, uh, you know, better and better right now. <laughs> All right, so. And we're going to see them on the final. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. We got Amadiz. Well, no, 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 no. No ELC is allowed, guys. He's going to have to load up with the Amex 12T yep. if he wants a light tank. Mm hmm. But uh, it's going to be three T-37s with T-34, 85. And that's not the one with extra armor on it. That's actually the M4 th M4A E3 that I'm thinking of. That M4A3 E2. Do you mean Jumbo? Yeah, yeah, there we go. The Sherman Jumbo? It yeah, yeah, It yeah, has yeah. a very thick armor in the front. Right. But mm -hmm. what's the specialty of the T-34-85? Throw it at us again, Edison. Uh, yeah, because you can equip with the... Uh, uh, 122 millimeter gun. Oh man! Yeah, the only one. Uh, maybe not the only one, but you know, uh, it's it's quite okay on this tank because of he got speed. You know, he can reach enemy much faster compared to other tank and we equip it with that this firepower. gun. That firepower. Yep. All right. Sometimes so. uh, I see immortal. Uh, they you not immortal. The uh, Nvidia is they use the tanks on the capture point because of. Uh, he got big gun. If you want to reset capture, he gonna shoot you four hundred. You know? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. All right. So let's see what we're gonna have coming from our our rookie team from Taiwan. Two T thirty sevens, a Cromwell, and we're still waiting for the last two tanks. What's Spencer gonna load out with, as well as Hydra, the Hydra. Mm -hmm. That is, I think, the <coughs> the question of the evening right now. As we uh, we wait for them to get loaded up, it's going to be a three thirty three three T thirty sevens as well as a Cromwell, and the final tank will be T thirty seven, I guess. Mm, that's no. what I'm guessing as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No KB eighty five this this game. KB T five. Yeah, like yeah, horsemen, horsemen yeah. use K. T they yeah. use four. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. one they like, got draw with the uh, immortal. Uh, the, the Bravo uh, or yeah. Alpha 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 team. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there it is. Four T-37s from both sides. The real deviation is the T-3485 with the potential for a 122mm cannon on it. And uh, a Cromwell coming out of Milk Fun on our rookie team, Steel Knight. I'm wondering what the strategy is going to be here. Of course, um, the Cromwell itself, I mean, like, all I know is that I blow it up in a Tier 7 tank. <laughs> It's a very, very good tank. It, it, yeah. it is the uh, best medium tank in tier 6. <laughs> alright, alright, so there we go. It has a firepower and a speed that really is nice. Really fast. <coughs> Compared to this light tank, it's not slow. Ezin was just saying that uh, the Cromwell is just as fast as most light tanks as we, of course, had the loading graphic drown out our voices. But uh, spawning to the north, it's going to be Steel Knight and NVIDIA Aces Bravo to the south. 
and both sides well oh, they choose different strategy indeed hmm. and reading aces bravo is actually going to rush for <coughs> the uh the neutral capture zone or at least for the city mm -hmm. it looks like for the time being while we've got a I, this can be a dangerous tactic coming from steel knight they're splitting their forces just a little bit mm -hmm. but i think i think they are playing off of a strategy they've seen uh, the aces employ in a five versus five on this map before. Yeah, yeah, I you remember, think so. yeah, yeah, you remember when they were playing against four KB 85s, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that strategy I think is what they're preparing for. But the problem is, they have no heavy tanks on their team, so I don't see why they would be expecting that sort of strategy. Mm. What do you I think mean, they're thinking? Yeah, I, I think they're gonna play more defensive here because of they know uh, you're gonna win this one first. You're gonna kill. You have to kill everyone second you can you have to capture but on their strategy uh, we can see and we can see any clue to they're gonna capture here so they might take a strategy was the media a media uh about uh, him use no they can bravo team bravo team this oh, is video okay. aces bravo okay they cannot you know uh i i mean uh the steel nine they cannot have the same strategy as the about him yeah, no. hang on just a second. It looks like Amazona is going to pick up on Milk Fund's position. Yep, yep. And he's the guy in the Cromwell. Yeah, but no, that's okay because of the the Milk guy there, he can spot everyone. If someone going to kill him, he got a full sniper in his back. So it's not a big problem there, you know. All right, all right. Mm. So Let's probably this one going to have a draw. It, you know, I, I, mean, I think there's a pretty high possibility. I, I I'm I'm inclined to agree with you to some extent, but at the same time, I've got to note that Nvidia Aces Bravo is actually acting very quickly, and C5M's experience is showing in this particular position. <coughs> I uh, wonder if Milk Fun knows what the enemy team is up to. Yeah, he, uh, I think the Milk already see the C5M there. You know, they see you can see the C5M end there. You know, that mean he knows someone is there. You know. All right, so there we go. He's moving up. Just a little bit. He's super exposed in that position. Mm -hmm. And he falls back without any consequences. But I think he's attracting the attention of D Hydra <coughs> there mm -hmm. in that position. Yeah. But I think the team still lack of experience because of he already still a C5M. That means they got uh, you know, more enemy on his back. I, I mean, uh, back to support the C5M. So. Uh, the Taiwanese team, they should know, okay, most of the enemy on the north is, so we, we have to do something there, and the flanking should be faster, you know. I, I don't think Immortal team gonna spread the team member everywhere, so, you know, if they know this, they can they, they gonna have an action much faster, I think. Alright, so here we are, the kitten just rolling over that hill a teeny bit. Three minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the clock, more <coughs> or less. That's a little bit difficult to make a capture happen. Yep. You really got three people to capture. Uh, they still need like two minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. And there it is. Kitten actually takes a good chunk of damage there for Bravo. Um, I'm wondering just what hit him there. That was that was 240 damage. It was probably two shots from T37s. Two shots, two shot, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Milk Fund takes 110 in return. C5M kind of catches on to their position, but if, if, if I feel like Steel Knight just hasn't made any moves uh, too terribly far from their spawn since the beginning of this game. Mm -hmm. So I feel like this is, I don't know, a show of nerves, perhaps? Like, maybe maybe they're a bit nervous. Yeah, but because of they have a defensive position, you know, if they keep up this one, they have to rush and they take a uh, big risk. So right. For a new team, I don't think they they know how to rush on this one. If if I I want to rush, I cannot take the route from the south. You know? 111 for 122. That's stacking up to 121 more damage off of Nevervest. Nevervest now falling back, and the picks are being played. Actually, you know, Steel Knight gets away with inflicting more damage on mm -hmm. Nvidia Aces Bravo in this yep, position. Yeah, but not that difference. I think maybe only 200 or three. Yeah, but I mean, let's <coughs> let's consider for a minute if the next game, theoretically, okay. if the next game is four T-37s and neither mm -hmm. side took damage, that actually means in NVIDIA Aces Bravo does not choose where they go in the assault mode game. Okay. Two minutes remaining. Mm -hmm. And at this point, we still have, I, I would say, a lack of decision-making from both sides. 
All right. No one spot the Spencer there. That's no. right. That's no right. one spot him, so he got a great chance to flank in the number pass. You know, maybe he need uh, last second, but you know, there is only one tank. <laughs> if they, right. if he want to flank in, he have to you know, uh, call more tank to support. Uh oh, C five M is walking straight into a tarp, straight into a trap. Mm -hmm. I feel. Or he could be trying to bait out some exposure from both Amadis and <coughs> Dehydra here. Mm -hmm. uh, Kitten's charging in right now. I think they might have realized and they, I mean, when I say they, I mean Bravo. Mm -hmm. They might have realized just what kind of position they have caught uh, Steel Knight in. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think they're gonna rush because of they only have two tank there. They got three on the back, so I don't think they have a chance to rush any this one. Right, 111 damage off of C5M there, mm -hmm. and I'm a bit surprised that NVIDIA Aces Bravo hasn't at least attempted oh, a capture before. They rush, but yeah, they're I diving think, in. Yeah, but I think Spencer gonna shoot them from the south side. Spencer got a really, really nice position there. He does, he does. He's the Rambo he tank. Oh yeah, he's he doing a 246 it. damage from a <laughs> shot that he stacked on the side. Milk mm -hmm. not taking too much of the heat. But Dehydra is getting singled out very quickly. 404 damage off of him. 365 off of Neverbest. And 476. Oh, it looks like he's slayed. Oh, he ball, missed there was a missed shot from Amadis. And the sealed out shot comes from Dehydra. Struggling for dear life. Unreal Rogue with Tunnel Vision. 222 off of Amazona. He's running for the hills. 233 off of Unreal Rogue. And 241 off of TW Spencer. 374 off of Unreal Rogue. 44. 620. Wow, and he's nice. out. He is out. Dehydra is knocked out of the game, though. This is now a three versus four situation. Will Amazonas survive? It looks as though he will. The clock hits zero. Mm -hmm. And that is a game that ended in favor of our Taiwanese rookies, mm -hmm. although they took, you know, they, they did lose one tank. Yeah. But, you know, I think they still do more damage on this one, I think. That's you know. right. I mm -hmm. mean, like, was that a part of the plan, or they, they were just playing this out extremely carefully? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they you didn't know, move too much. Yeah, they, they didn't move by the Immortal Rush. You know, maybe Immortal is saying, we can get you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, finally, they still stand there and do not doing too much. But I think the TW Spencer stand on a really nice position for sniping them. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, you know, <laughs> it's working. You know, That's right. If they, with the fight tank, they just rush together, rush out, and leave the stamp Spencer there. Forget the Spencer, it's just rush and kill other four. You know, five versus four is much easier. <laughs> yeah. <you know>? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, mm -hmm. that's uh, this game in a nutshell, guys. We will be back in about three minutes with the next game.
All right, guys, that game that we won was a draw, and it was actually mm -hmm. going pretty far forward for our, uh, for our Taiwanese players. And I'm wondering just where things are going to go on this second map. I don't think we'll see them rush for the Northeast Hill, although I wouldn't be surprised to see it happen. Maybe they're feeling pretty gutsy after the first game. <laughs> right? Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, I thought I think they're going to defend. You know, it's a commander style. You know, Spencer play on pretty conservative, conserve way, I think. Yeah. So I think I, it's I mean, likely uh, his style is more conserved. So I, I don't think he, he loved rush. <laughs> yeah. I I personally think it's likely that we're gonna take this to, uh, what is it? Um, we're gonna see things go to the assault game. I feel. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna have a tiebreaker. You know. <laughs> And but you know, on on QIC, here's still Shafe. You know, T thirty seven is a full, it's an elite Shafe, and uh, right now we got uh, another Shafe on tier five, it's a stock Shafe. <laughs> Let's say so it's a one tank divide two, and uh, on the tier six we still see so many Shafe here. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. mm. and we can see the t tank lineup is more and more. Uh, I think more and more similar. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of T-37s because in all the maps. There's no city map. Oh, yeah, yeah. Only no city, yeah. yeah, most of the map is open wide, so people are going to choose more mobility, I think. So yeah. uh, that's why they have so similar light up on every map. If we have an insect like and him stuff, we're going to see a lot of the K KB-85, I think. But mm -hmm. uh, here right. it's different. There it is, the T-3485, perhaps with a 122mm cannon. Three, four T-37s it will be for our Mortal Steam and Video Aces Gaming Bravo. Four mm -hmm. T-37s are well for the other side. Mm Alright guys, spawning to the north, it's going to be Steel Knight putting up a pretty strong fight in game number one and it looks like they are turning towards the west end of the map and to the 3 o'clock position of the map rushing towards the northeast end it's going to be NVIDIA Aces Bravo. <coughs> okay, the Taiwanese team take them really... Uh, I think they're going to defend the capture circle, they're going to set up like uh, one tank on the maybe D two D three and spot the cap capture circle in the other ones. You know they're gonna stand on uh, you know behind a rock, kind of south, uh, be behind a rock, behind a house or something like that. <coughs> All right, so here it is. Okay, I think multiple team uh, they know there is no en enemy right now. You know, mm -hmm. They're gonna. They're gonna they're gonna sit there for a little while and try to make sure they're not you know running straight into a trap. But mm -hmm. uh, after you know soon enough they'll realize that uh, the Steel Knight team just ran off to a different corner of the map. But I want to point out to our production crew that they spelled Steel Knight the wrong <coughs> way. At the top of the screen, it actually it says K I N G H T. It should say K N I G H T. <laughs> okay. But uh, I, you know it's one of those hashtag Made in Taiwan problems, I guess. But I think, uh, all things considered, some people said uh, that the production crew here actually has a lot better graphics and production than uh, the guys at GOM TV did a year ago. Like, that's the feedback that I gather from people in the DPS clan, as well as um, just basic, how do I say this, the, the things that the people see in, uh, the, or peop the things that people say in the Twitch chat. There mm -hmm. we go. Uh, okay, wow. I said Steel Knight is really bravo, but... Uh, mm -hmm. The current position is not that good because of they lift two tanks on the southwest, but hold him on the southeast. You know. Yeah, and right now Steel Knight uh, Spencer is just diving straight into all the forestry at the southeast end of the map. Yeah. There's a nice bush that he can hide behind, and it yeah. looks like he's gonna try and exploit that. <coughs> the question is, did he get there safely? And I think the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. All right.
C5M is playing this out a little bit patiently, and I, again, like, given just based on the merit that uh, neither side is actually going for the capture circle at this point, I'm leaning towards saying, again, this game could end in a draw. Mm. But, 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 you know, the Steel Knight, they, they got a really nice position right now, you know. Mm. Except the two guys behind the house, you know, they are a really nice time. Yeah. And the T Devil Spencer gonna be a scout, probably. This is a little bit he scary. Cannot, you know, someone gonna stop to spot him. Exactly. Right yep. I mean, like, in that particular position, I feel like it's only moments away from getting shot. Okay. There he is. He dodges one bullet. Another one is a non-penetration. No, it <laughs> miss. Holy cow. Wow. This guy, this guy has bullet time. He's able to dodge so many shots. And with that, wow. That was what? Eight misses? Yeah, but <laughs> there is a lower ground. So they cannot hit him. Do, do, do you see ah. There is a lower part. So he just go to a lower part. So okay. every bullet shoots from his, uh, over his head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And he didn't spot every anything there, you know, because of the scout. Uh, maybe someone on the F nine, he didn't shoot. He just scout. I mean, that explains why no one shot back mm. from Steel Knight. I mean, but right now the scenario cannot be different because of <laughs> uh -oh. the kitten is super exposed. Oh, uh -huh, that's right. Four fifty seven, five fifty nice. nine. Wow, he wow. just melted in five yeah. seconds. Because of only Spencer's exposed. So. <laughs> Uh, they may think, okay, on, you on, only, only got one heal, can I catch you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. This is... It's a trade. <laughs> I mean, like, let's, let's look what our new guys are doing. Like, they are actually... They are making goops out of the, the Season 1 champions mm -hmm. for QYC, if I'm not mistaken. And also, they're making, they're making goops out of the guys who yeah, made it yeah. pretty far in Season yeah. 1 WGL. And uh, they are underestimated uh -oh. their enemy. Uh oh, Spencer's in a lot of trouble though. Yeah, 358 damage. Yeah, but the position is okay. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He got a couple shots, but won't die there. Right, but the problem is as soon as he steps out, I feel like he's gonna mm -hmm. get totally lit up. He's gonna get showered with bullets. Mm -hmm. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining on the clock. <laughs> And thus far, Steel Knight has inflicted more damage in this game mm -hmm. and also game number one than NVIDIA Aces Bravo has in this game thus far. <laughs> yep. So I feel like if this goes to that draw game, that, that assault mode game, we're going to have Steel Knight on the defense while Bravo is on the offense. Yeah, but problem is for... I, I mean, uh, not that they got a big problem because of if their, uh, their enemy... It's some team like uh, Shadow Tiger or like Elon. You know, the Elon team cannot rush, not rush, they cannot take a route from the south and to the line to find data up to, you know, like because they only, they already have one more, one more tank. They can rush, but rush, you're gonna have the safest way to rush. So if you, they go through the line K and turn to the line zero and up here, because of do you know? Do you, you know, uh, on the line, lo, lo, line, line, there is a short heal. So if they go through the line zero, uh, the people, the enemy on the D, E8 and the E7 uh, near the, the lake, they cannot shoot them. No, so I think that he has a really nice chance for the Steel Knight to rush. Okay, they are already, uh -oh. already, they are, they are stuck, right? I, I don't like this move by Amadiz. He's just getting really zealous there. He's going in. Four seventy nine. He, he got a sniper support, so that's okay. Oh man, and never best is looking like he's next on the hit list. Six hundred and fourteen damage off of him. They want that heavy tank out of the game, and there he goes. Amadiz gets the killing blow. Amazona is gonna take another yeah. couple shots. Yeah, you can see, you know, the two guys on near the lake cannot offer any support. Right. Yeah. Yep. Oh they, my god. They only god. can run right now. Yeah, and I mean, in this position, they have to stay alive for the next 30 seconds. Otherwise, they will lose all hope of winning this set mm -hmm. and going on to the grand finals for the evening. And then they, they effectively speaking, lose that shot oh, Spencer at the season shooting finals. Him. No. He's stuck there. He can't move. Oh, yeah, because he's on the Reaper. Yeah, but Spencer's getting lit, too. He's, he's taking a quite a bit of damage there. He's done yeah, to his last slipper. Run away, I think. 15 no. seconds. Five, C5M is not getting away from this. And I think like there's there's no math involved in this. If we're going to that assault mode game, we mm -hmm. all know without without adding the numbers up that Steel Knight <laughs> yep. has gotten more damage done mm -hmm. to Nvidia <laughs> Aces Bravo. Yep. Oh, okay. You almost win. You know, if yeah. they take an action, no, I, I think they take a line K and turn to the line there. Maybe one minute add earlier, they already already win this one. You know, but you know, still good strategy, I think.
you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so right now, I mean, as the regulations dictate, we must add up the numbers. No yeah. matter how black and white the games mm -hmm. look, we're going to have to go through game number one, game number two, total up the damage, and then figure out who's going to be on the assault mode mm -hmm. for uh, our our tiebreaker game mm -hmm. on which map will it be? Sand River? Sand uh, River? Probably Sand River. You know, I believe. Because of, because of on the Sand River, uh, the home team got more advantage. Oh, there, yeah. But don't use a too slow tank, I think. You know, if you cannot use the uh, E2 again, it, because uh, hopefully it, they should use that one on the uh, uh, higher part, I think. I mean, the higher ground. That's, a, that's okay for him. You know, All right. Don't so use that on the lower part, I think. I guess we're just now waiting for the prompt from our production crew which direction we go in. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we're going to go to a short break and then we'll be back with our assault mode game. Okay.
All right, guys. After, I guess you could say, some extensive math skills, mm -hmm. um, we discovered and it's going to be Steel Knight on defense yep. on what's the map? Mal I say Malinovka. Malinovka, all yep. right. Mm -hmm. I choose this one. I think this one for defender is really good, I think. Yeah. All right. First, we're going to show you guys our ring girl because we need to stall for time. Mm. And this lady is Jen Croft from Australia. She is, oh, okay, she's holding a sign that says E4R, and the first three letters are VOT, that's, yeah, so, so that's a vote, vote for, for R. And I think we can all guess what that might be. But uh, the exact order and sequence of the letters is something that uh, I, I guess you could say is not entirely clear to us just yet, because there's still seven letters, and if it's going to be ring girls, well, that's too many letters, so we have to actually... Stand by and wait and think for a minute just what the final letters are going to be. Mm -hmm. So right now it is vote for R. Vote for R. And I believe we're going to show you guys her video pretty soon, if not after this final game. But I hear the production crew shouting in the background, we're, we're going to hop into the game lobby, mm -hmm. allegedly. Okay. So... Here we go. Three T thirty sevens thus far. It's gonna be from uh, our N Nvidia. Yeah, Nvidia oh. Aces Gaming Bravo. Bravo. Yep. And oh, what do you know? It's actually not Malinovka. But uh, it's it's so weird, you know. Well, this is a little bit strange. You have a screen that's so different from us. Yeah. Uh. What's well, like here? right now. Right now, we're actually, how do I say this? this <laughs> it's a little bit confusing. Yeah, it's so confusing. Kiara, I think, or Kiari. What, what's the name of this map? It's a Caridia. Caria? Yeah, Caridia. Caridia, okay, Caridia. there we go. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, okay. Ah, okay. There we go. All right, there we go. They finally they corrected the map on our end. It's a little bit strange because Alpha's actually got an observer position in game, and we're looking at his brand new shiny computer, <laughs> and we're looking at the monitor in front of us which has a clean source that you know the production crew feeds us and we're just wondering well what's the map supposed to be and adding to the confusion right now uh, we can see that there are three tanks in lobby okay now everything is completely identical mm -hmm. I I think maybe maybe Alpha's computer is bugged maybe it's lagging or something no, I think maybe it's it's lag it's yeah. lag uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I, I think the screen is different from yours. Oh, I'm I mean experiencing that, network issues as well on my computer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is not good, guys. This is not good. We are in some trouble. I actually have lost touch with the Twitch chat for the Wargaming Asia channel. This is not good. We might actually be hitting some lumps right now. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, the production crew is actually on a separate internet connection from ourselves as well, so that means they should be solid and still connected to the internet, and thus the stream should be undisturbed, although we should be, mm -hmm. um, how do I say this, we should be blind and deaf with you guys uh, on our end. We can't actually see your concerns in the chat room or anything else of that nature. So, that being said, there are four T37s on our team NVIDIA ACES wow. Gaming Bravo and actually Alpha has just disconnected. <laughs> yeah, we don't game. have an internet connection right now. Mm-hmm. I guess it must be our internet service provider that's giving us some real problems right now. We should mm -hmm. probably consider switching to Kbro. They actually... I have a, a 100 megabytes download and 20 megabytes upload uh, from my home. Just an idea. Not necessarily something we should employ, but... Strong internet is strong internet. It's going to be four T-37s and a KV-85 coming from our Taiwanese rookies. And four T-37s are still waiting for C5M to determine what their final tank is going to be. And it looks like there is no internet connection available to us mm -hmm. presently. Yep. So what I think it would be a good idea to do right now is perhaps whip open my cell phone and tune into the Wargaming Asia channel on Twitch.tv. See if I can do that. And of course, Alpha is co he is communicating with the production crew to indicate that we have no internet on our end. Here we go. Game is getting started now. It's a Karadia. It's not like a sword one. Alright. 
So here we go, guys. Now spawning to the east side of the map at the 3 o'clock position. It's going to be NVIDIA Aces Bravo. They are on the offense. And mm -hmm. on defense, it's going to be our Steel Knight team. And they are actually, I guess you'd say, Rookies of the Night. If they can make it to the Grand Finals for the evening, they'll be in great position. They're on defense, too, I might add, at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. I go to the source first. I mean, that sounds like a solid decision uh, to make. I mean, it's all theirs to make. But at the same time, I feel like they could actually just be uh, rush. <laughs> like, this could be a rush loss, if that makes sense. Or, uh, 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 they, they use the strategy. Uh, they want to capture the source heal and uh, use a KV-85 on the near the fast for spot. But uh, okay, okay. The such strategy is somewhat risk because yeah. uh, if... If the NVIDIA team, the whole, they use five tank to rush south, they cannot lose this one because of five versus so, five versus four. You know, it's not you. You can get any advantage there because of you are facing the immortal team. You hmm. know. Yeah, and if the KV eighty five died, no, no, first, the problem is not KV eighty five died really? there because of if KV eighty five died there, they have to pay for that. I mean, immortal oh, oh, right. because okay. it's not gonna be a free exchange. I, I what, what yeah, you gotta yeah, force okay, sniper okay. on the heel. You know, you kill kill one KT KV eighty five, but they gonna spot you for ten seconds. Uh, the T thirty seven can shoot three times on the ten seconds, so you gotta pay for, pay for that. But I, I mean, the risk is if, if they go know, to the south only for tank, and another team goes to go to the south for five tank, you mm -hmm. gotta lose that. You know, because of KV eighty five cannot snipe in there. Yep. It's too far away and Ooh. it's slow. Looks like we have our okay. internet restored for the time mm -hmm. being, and I was just double checking on my cell phone to make sure that the stream didn't crash. And it appeared that everything is good <laughs> to go. I'm trying to rejoin everyone in the chat presently, but mm -hmm. here we are. Yep. Video Aces Bravo are now working their way into that capture circle. Yep. And KV85, <laughs> well, all the firepower that comes from it in the world is going to be ultra critical in this mm -hmm. position. Uh, but right now, uh, I think Steel Knight do not get really nice position, you know, because of... Let's oh, okay, let's start moving. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I go. think they need two guys on the G2 to, or G3. That's better. <coughs> and there we are. Mm -hmm. well, they're kind of forcing their way into the capture circle. KV-85 Mokfun took a good chunk of damage there only 110 but mm -hmm. uh never best taking 242 in this position spencer wow. spencer i feel is playing the lone gunner right now i yeah, mean he's he's going there. really far with this yeah if they have another guy on the g3 he cannot shoot more i think but uh, no one there yeah the, the greedy fire there is not good not good position because of too many stuff on the uh he, he, he don't have the clean, you know, how to say that? A clean, a clean view. Yeah, there clean view to shoot. But, you know. and this is the move that NVIDIA Aces Bravo has to make. Mm -hmm. They cannot afford to take a draw and win this game. They're yeah. piling in with three tanks now. Yeah, they're going to kill KB-85 first. That's yeah. the main target. Oh, yeah, definitely. But mm -hmm. he's, if, but they, if they turn that corner and try and kill him, don't there go is there. 207 <laughs> damage off of Neverbest. He's the first out of the game. 215, 427 off of... Unreal Rogue, 113 off of Amazon, 240 off of C5M, 237 off of Milk Fun in exchange, 362 now on C5M. He, the damage is piling up, 99 mm -hmm. off of Unreal Rogue, and now 123 off of Taiwan Spencer. Rogue falls in the background. Okay, Amada is coming. No, they can this one very soon, I, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I agree. 126 off of Dehydra. The kitten took a huge chunk as well. Mm -hmm. 126 off of Milk Fun, taking all the damage for his team. And now 101 off the greedy fire in exchange for the life of C5M. Not quite a worthy trade, but in the background, Dehydra falls as well. And Amazona is shut out of the game. It's all up to Kit to pull off a miracle in this one versus four. 126 damage. The next shot will remove him from the game. It's him versus three now as he does get one one tank to his, to his name off of the enemy team. And alas, it is not enough. We are going to have two Taiwanese teams in the grand finals for this. Not yet. Season not three. Yet. Not yet. Not oh. yet. Oh, yeah. Jeez, it's, we've been here for too long. We've been here for too long, guys. It's wow. only 9 p.m., you know. We cannot say that on the 10 p.m. Yeah, I mean, jeez. <laughs> I, I, you're right, you're right. We actually just finished the second best of three for the evening. Mm -hmm. It's 9 o'clock already. 
So, I mean, we've been here for quite a while. Mm -hmm. And uh, I have a feeling we're not going to be done until maybe 10 or 11 tonight. So, <laughs> we're going to see a lot more games. It just feels like we've been here forever. Mm -hmm. So, this game in a nutshell, I think the critical point was definitely when everyone piled in on that KV-85 without any vision of what was behind it. Yeah, right. That's right. But they are forced to do that. Mm -hmm. Because they don't have other chance to win. They cannot take a capture circle because too, too many snipers and they are really hard to kill the KV-85 because of the route. Right. They should choose a south side in the beginning, I think. Mm -hmm. I, I think if they had all rushed to the south side, I mean, it's all about that coin flip game. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep, that's it. Heads or tails, you win or you lose, just mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. But if they had gone to the south, all five of them, mm -hmm. there's no KV-85 there. Yeah. Boom. Game one, mm -hmm. um, essentially. Mm -hmm. But... There it is. I mean, that's this game spoken to in about 30, 45 seconds. Yeah. And I believe we're supposed to show you guys our next ring girl before we go into the next commercial break. But we're just waiting on the production crew to give us the cue. Mm -hmm. So thoughts on the third place, fourth place match between NVIDIA Gaze's aiming uh, Bravo, NVIDIA Aces gaming Bravo. Yeah, and uh, Backstreet Boy, right? It's Backstreet Boy. Looks that one, right? Hmm? Uh, we're gonna have the. Uh, we're gonna have Bravo going up against Backstreet. Backstreet Boy, I think. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> okay. I think I think Bravo comes in third. How about you? <laughs> they are doing not that tonight. I think they're I coming think, in third. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's all right. Let's give them that. Let's give them that. Mm -hmm. But uh, we'll be back after three minutes, guys. Okay. Hello, everyone. I'm Jen Croft in Australia. Thank you for joining us for the World of Tanks live stream. Interested in playing tanks as well? Download and register World of Tanks for free on our portal. Search World of Tanks Asia right now. There's over 300 tanks for seven different countries in World of Tanks. So give it a go. And better yet, get a friend to join you. There will be different tournaments for the all levels of players who want to show their stuff. We also have a huge prize pool for the Wargaming.net League. More info on the WGL website. Follow our Twitter and Twitch for tournament news and don't forget to like our Facebook fan page for more events and news. Can you tank it? Stay tuned. <laughs> 